So in Hawkeye Nav, you have several types of curves. The first type of curve is our work curve. The work curve is red, and it is the as-drilled curve that is based on approved surveys that are received by the program. This is used to define the path of the well. The next kind of curve is the proposal curve, which is by default blue. A proposed well path is used to meet well goals and may be modified or replaced at any point moving forward. It contains the desired dog legs and is often referred to as the target line. Hawkeye Nav doesn't really use the proposal curve as its target line programmatically, and this is because it is a program that is constantly receiving real-time information and revising a target path based on user parameters as well as that drilling information. So as we scroll down this curve, we come upon the next type of curve in this program in yellow. This is referred to as the virtual curve. It is basically a projection from the last survey point to the maximum hole depth based on drilling data. When the bit is at bottom, this could be construed as a bit projection. However, even when the bit is off bottom, the virtual curve remains in its position until more hole is drilled. As we go further down, we see a black curve. This curve in Hawkeye Nav is referred to as the active plan. It is programmatically the backbone curve, a temporary plan that tries to use the same dogleg severity as the original proposal, but is redrawn anytime a nav user accepts a new projection. The active plan is by default drawn from the end of the virtual curve, but can be drawn from the last survey. We'll cover creating a new active plan in a minute. The final kind of curve in Hawkeye Nav is called the drill curve, and that is in green here. The drill curve represents an aligned projection to the active plan using the current accepted motor yield. To change the motor yield, you would go to the DD set point tab and click within this field. When you change this motor yield and click approve, the drill curve will update and it will only update when you change this motor yield. So if a drill curve starts right here and you drill much further down, this green curve, the drill curve, will not change. It will not update until you update your motor yield. So let's go back to changing the active curve. First thing we do is we click the active plan button here. Then we have a number of options. Let's scroll down to the current active plan in this example. Here we see our projection in magenta matching exactly the active plan. The magenta is our temporary projection that we can play around with until we find the right active plan that we want. So for example, if I wanted to project 10 feet to the left, here I would type 10 left and hit tab. Now if I want to project further down the current proposal, I can change the measured depth on proposal here. And as you can see, it will update my temporary pink projection. Now remember, once I accept this projection, it becomes my new active plan in black. And then from then on, my drill curve in green is always going to try to get back onto that curve. At no point is Hawkeye Nav trying to get back onto the blue proposal. It is only ever trying to get back onto the active plan. Now, the active plan can closely match the proposal, as it does in this case here, but since the program is designed to be used in an active, real-time environment, NAV gives control to the user on where the target line should actually be. Now, since in this example we are using a live job, I am not going to click Approve because that would then rewrite the current active plan. But if I wanted this particular pink projection to become my new active plan, I would click Approve, and then I would click Send to All Users to update everyone else's active plan. Keep in mind that this projection is a two-turn solution, so you actually have two dog legs. If you look at this list of parameters here, you can see that you can meet the demands of almost any drilling scenario with this single projection panel.